welcome to Raps Gallery and it's me, Grumpy Tuck. Let's just jump straight into this. Well, that was a bit different, wasn't it? Hello, welcome again to Rapscallion, episode 8. And here we are with me, Grumpy Tuck, on this amazing little realm. Honestly, I'm loving it. So, today, I just want to show you around. I just want to give you a really quick tour of everything what's here and let you see what we've been up to. And then, at the very end of the video, I have an exciting announcement. But here we are in the storehouse, and Katie built this, and as you can see, she's labelled, not John's disappeared, she's labelled everything, and there's all kinds of really cool materials, this is the iron, for example, there's gold in here, and it just looks amazing, she's done a really good job. I'm really impressed with this storehouse and the way she's put it together. I just think... I just think it's incredible and you know community tools and out I go oh no out I go let's have a look at the outside of this place then look at it it is beautiful it's so many different blocks and styles and I like it I really like it in fact I like it so much so very much so uh, yeah this is the storehouse and this building, I mean, you saw me build this pub building, this is my pub. I mean, it will be a pub once I get the brewing stuff, but, you know, this is the... Ooh, I need to empty this now. This is my post box, which, as you can tell, I've turned into a dump chest. So, that needs cleaning out. That is definitely a job for future me. There's so much junk in there. But yeah, the enchanting setups here, and if we go upstairs, this space here is what I want to turn into a brewing area. So we can start brewing potions, and there's all these barrels up there for storage, and there's the infinite water source, and more storage. I mean, this place is amazing, and now, whoa, why is there a llama on the balcony? What's that all about? You just follow your... Hey, you've left your llama. You've... You've left him. Go get him. Get your llama out of my pub. There's no dogs allowed, no llamas allowed, okay? Just... Honestly. He's still there! Just get rid of him. That looks cool. Mate, your llama. Don't run off without your llama. Where's he gone? Where are you? Mate. Hello? There you are. Go get your llama. Up here. Come over here. Look, he's spitting in the pub. It's not that kind of pub. And I'm stuck on him. Right, close these doors. At least then he's inside. There we go. Right. Jobs are good. Un. So, um, yeah, mate, you get your llama out here and I'll continue the tour. So, outside of the pub. That llama's spitting. Outside of the pub. Is this iron farm where the golems are supposed to spawn in? Um, well, this is awkward. There's meant to be golems in there and 
and they go to a burny bit and die. And, well, we'll just ignore that. These are the bees. Look at uh, this bee's called Boo. Hello, Boo, the bee. I'll let you make your own jokes on that one. And then inside here, was that a is that a pressure plate? Why is that not automatically shutting? Why is that not? <laughs> Down here, villagers. Villager trading. Again, Katie did this. It looks amazing. And it's great. There are so many different trades. I mean, this guy's got... Um, it's all written above. Uh, we... And then here's where the iron gets collected. See, the iron farm has been working. And it was working last time I was on. And then further down, no, down, down, further down, further down, there we go, right, further down and over here, this is where all the um, bone meal gets turned into whatever, we've got this trader, he was difficult to get, but look what he's got, mending books, see, mending one. And that's 16 emeralds and a book. I don't think that's too expensive. I think that's okay. So yeah, that's all them. Oh, it is a... Why was you not working before? There we go. Right, what's next? I mean, we've been in the pub. Oh, this fountain. Look at this fountain. Katie made this as well. Katie makes a lot of things. She's really good at designing and stuff and making things pretty. So, um, of course I'm going to let her just build stuff because, you know, why not? So this is the fountain. I really like this. Great shape. And then we've got the sheep. Meh. And the cows, I've reduced them down to two. And the armadillos I've reduced to two. The pigs are down to two. And then the windmill. Do you remember this? It was a shop, it was fantastic. Well, oh, hang on. I've got me um, allies, so it's Theodore and Simon. I bet you can't guess what the last one's called. That's right, it's Alvin. Alvin, Simon, Theodore, Duke for Dog, and then the shop, which um, currently has absolutely nothing in it. But it did have a trader in it, and it was good, and I don't know what I'm going to do with the shop, but I'll work some it out and make it fantastic. And there's my bridge, let's look at that later. And then over here, wow, there's so much to see. We've done so much. Over here is, I can't even get up, I'm going to have to swim a bit further. Right, here we go. So over here is our nether portal, which looks Again, incredible. I absolutely love... That's John's build. That's crazy. We'll look at John's build in a second. So yeah, this is a nether portal. And we've got a bit of storage for gold because, you know, I keep dying and I need to quickly put gold on and try and get my stuff back. So, it is what it is. But it just looks amazing, doesn't it? Let's go see John's stuff. Look at this. John the goat. And he literally has taken the goat thing on a whole new level. He's got goat heads, little goat statues, his build's looking amazing, he's got this wall going around, he's even made a goat helicopter. So in here is the uh, cooked chicken farm. Not many cooked chickens in there at the moment. Um, you know, but look at the helicopter. The helicopter looks amazing. Or the goat copter as he calls it. Um, I like it. It's, it's something I would never thought of. Don't know what he's doing with the copper. And then look, he's got the wall what he's building, which is just, it's huge. I mean, these Americans love walls, don't they? We're gonna build a wall. It's gonna be the best wall ever. Um, worst attempt to an accent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sneak inside. See what he's, oh, I'm in a hole sneak inside see what he's got so uh yeah this is john's john's base so um it's looking good it's got a lot of potential let's get out of here through is this oh, that's that's not the way out which is the way out 
Um, anyone? Way out? Anyone? We'll just go out this way, back in the hall. Hello, Panda! So yeah, that's John's area, with the goat theme continuously going on, which is just brilliant. I mean, it's he's, he's done really well. He has. And the wall's continuing round, and I like that. I think we should maybe connect all the towers we've built with walls. It's, it's great. It's a brilliant idea. So let's just have a quick run across here. Oh. There's my tower in the distance. I mean, my builds just don't look as good, do they? I really need to up my game. I know, I keep saying it, but look at me. Look at me. I mean, everybody's so good. And then there's me. So, yeah, I need to up my game. But we're getting there slowly. We're learning, and that's what Minecraft's about. It's about learning stuff. And that is definitely something I'm doing. Right. Let's continue. Uh, oh, so this used to be the headquarters, and now it's a little smelter. So literally, you've got fuel, and you've got your stuff what goes in, and then we put it in here, and you can take it out, and there's nothing in there. But we lava farms here to refuel it and stuff, so this is amazing. It's all just built into one place. Oh, hello, Katie. How are you? You good? I'm just doing a quick tour. Uh, in fact, talking to Katie, let's just run over to her area. Katie doesn't like it because when you run across the um, lily pads, it doesn't make a noise. And it's one of the only blocks in the game what doesn't make a noise when you run across it. And she finds it creepy. So, yeah. In here, this unassuming little doorway. Just run up these steps there. We've got um, this area. Ooh. Loads of storage and an XP farm. I mean, well, I've got quite a few things in there, that's good. So, um, yeah, you basically you stand here with your sword, and the mobs come flying down, and you whack them, you get your XP, and you collect different things and put them in the storage over here if you don't want them so I mean that's empty no, that's empty oh that's got iron that's empty shovels empty leather empty I mean okay there's not a lot oh I'll kill him and slash 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 so yeah we just drop down and we take them out and look I've got myself one level of XP which is going to be really useful because I keep dying but I am never going to enchant anything because I cannot get my XP levels high enough because I keep dying. It's like a curse. I'm cursed. I don't know. But yeah, right. Now where? Well, actually, this is probably one of the best builds in Lapscallion. Honestly, you, you're going to be blown away. You're going to be so so amazed by this next oh it's night time by this next build it just it blows me away look at this so gauge built this this is gauge's tent and i mean it's it's multicolored it's got lots of different materials it's got these superb strings attached to chickens in the ground it just looks incredible i just I can't get over how amazing Gage's build is. I mean, look at inside. It just... It blows me away. This, this man's imagination, his creativity is just a whole different level from what I'm able to do. So, I really want to learn from Gage because that... That's the best build on the server so far. It blows me away. Just like that. Right. Let's go to my place, which, you know, after looking at Gage's place, is going to be, well, horrific. But, you know, I've showed you everything else, so I might as well show you mine. And this is my little trapdoor entrance, which is really annoying, I should fix it. And you've seen this bit before. 
So, um, it's a trust fall. It's a trust fall. I know, you've seen it at the start of the video, but I like it. I like it. Let's go for the trust fall. Let's go! Of course it's got slime there. I mean, I'm not going to just jump to my death, am I? Eventually this will all have slime and I'll turn it into a massive bouncy castle. But I suppose now, I mean, there's nothing down here to see. So, uh, back up these stairs. And there's a lot of them, so we'll just speed this up. There we go. Little tiny bit of storage at the top. Close the door. And then into my little humble abode, which I'm going to warn you is not the best. I mean, look, I've, I've decorated it the best I can. I've got a seating area, I've got a kitchen area, I've got a sleeping area. It's, it, it could be better. I'm learning the decorating skills, okay? But we'll get there, we'll get there. And this is my start of my personal storage area. Um, you know, again, it's it's just, what's in here? Bells. I would never use bells. Why would I need a bell? <laughs> oh, there's other stuff as well. That needs putting away. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it it needs work. It needs improving. But I'm getting there. And then through this door, look at this. Look, I've cut down loads and loads of trees. And I've put down some paths. And we can run around. I mean, look loads of trees, loads of materials, I've just, I mean this is a bit of a dump chest, but it's fine, and we'll go running along the path, and look what we find, look, look what we find, do you remember this, do you, do you remember this, I hope you do, of course this is where all started, with Katie's chest from her winnings, I mean, let's have a flashback, <laughs> we are professionals, so each of us are here. Oh, that feels like such a long time ago now. But yeah, this is still here. And let's just get out here. The tent's still here, the old prize chest is still here. Nothing's changed. It's, it's still a hole. John de Goat never replaced that piece of yellow wool. And now look, I have to stand here with a hole behind me in the tent because John never replaced that piece of wool. So remind me to tell him or jump onto his YouTube and in his next videos tell him to just come and fix this tent because that piece of yellow wool is John's. John never replaced it. So get him told. Okay? Right. Anyhow, <laughs> so yeah, and then we've got all these paths going round, and what I want to do is out here, but I've cleared it out, is start building a little village with little farms and little houses, and just so it looks like, you know, it's not just the stuff inside the circle, but we've spread out, and we've started to extend, and, you know, life's happening inside the circle and also outside, so I think it's great. I absolutely love it and hopefully you like it too and this is kind of what I'm up to so important announcement coming up after this but before we get there let me just say thanks for watching like subscribe share um, all the rest of it it's amazing and I can't thank you enough for all you're watching however right now right now we need to increase so if you're on bedrock and you might want to come join our realm and help us increase and get involved with some of the wacky, weird, crazy activities of Rapscallion, get in touch with me. As long as you're on bedrock and as long as you are able to use Discord, we might have an opening for you here on Rapscallion SMP. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? So hopefully you can come and improve and build and put you on stamp on here and um yeah it'll be great to see what happens in the future 
but if you are interested let me know anyhow thanks for watching this episode have a great day